Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a tour of my house plants. I'm just gonna focus on the front room for this video and then I'll do the um, other rooms in later videos. But yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna focus the camera directly on the plants so that you can see everything that I have. So first, I have this guy. This is an Echeveria. As you can see, um, it is very leggy and stretched. I've moved it around quite a bit. So when I first got it, it had this stretching. It's gotten more pronounced. I don't know. I have it here by this window, so we'll see what happens to it. A couple of things have fallen off. I've tried to propagate them and I haven't had any success. So yes, that's just what this is. Also to note, if you hear any kids in the background, those are my kids. I have two young kids and yeah, so that's that. Secondly, as you can see, I'm over here in the window. This is, might be a little dark, my string of hearts. I have it in a terracotta pot. As you can see, it's nice and long. Definitely my favorite plant. I've noticed some blooms coming too. I actually ordered this off Etsy. And um, yeah, there go the blooms right there. It came rather small, but it had good roots. So I was excited about that. And then it's just been doing well. I've had it hung in this window. And you can see it grows really fast because I've cut these splits not too long ago, maybe like a week to two, and they're already back. So yes, this is my ultimate favorite. You can see it from the top. And it's in the terracotta, which is my preference for my plants. Coming along here also, I have my string of hearts. I was so excited to find this. I found it at a local nursery. I made these hangers too, by the way. It's a little bit of a story, not a story, but this isn't the first place I've had the string of pearls, but I moved them over here again because I noticed they do well when they're just like right there in this window, soaking up all the light. So I had to hang them because I moved my house around. Oh, I'm at the next one. I moved the house around because I didn't want the plants getting used to being by the window because the AC no. and the heating is there. No. So I knew I would have to move them. So I wanted to move them now. So that's there and it's been doing well. All this growth right here is just from a couple days of being in the window. This guy confuses me. This is my string of bananas or is it a string of fish hooks. I moved it back into the window. I had it on a stand in front of the window and it was doing really well. And then I moved it over here. But I, I was afraid to hang the pot that it was in. It was in a Ray Dunn clay pot and it just felt very heavy to me i have kids like i said so i didn't want to hang that in the event that it fell so i changed it to this plastic little nursery pot and i hung it in the window and now it seems to like i don't know if i shocked it from moving it but it's not looking its best so i'm gonna leave it here for a couple days and see what happens and see if i need to move it but it has some new trails on it that were a lot fuller so we shall see connor please sit down Keep on coming across so as you can see right here my couch is blocking the window this is my fiddly fig one of them i actually have a video about how i rescued these from walmart i'll link it above and you can check it out but this is one part of it it was one big bushel um and i took it and i split it down into two and this is one of them that's out here this one looks to be doing better to me in terms of growth and so I guess the window out here is better. I have it like in a little basket. Um, but as you can see, I braided the stems because it was in a bush. It was, these were all separated and I wanted that cinnamon. I'm trying to home remedy the gnats. So I braided it cause I wanted it to be in one, like grow up one stem, kind of like a money tree. But this has been doing very well. Um, I cleaned it a couple of weeks ago with some coconut oil and water and so it has a nice shine on it and it's doing very well the other one will be in the next video because that's actually in my bedroom this is a south east facing window uh, right here if i'm not mistaken i'll double check the one in my room is a west window but it's a lot smaller so i don't know we'll see this one definitely looks a lot bigger and a lot fuller than the one i'll show you that's in my room keep coming around here now this here is my mass cane corn plant and i got this from Lowe's. and i also have a video of how i got this i'll link that too 
But essentially, I won a $100 gift card or a $100 coupon at Lowe's. And so I went in and bought $100 worth of plants and pots and fertilizer. And so I didn't pay any money out of pocket for this. So this one has been doing very well. Um, I'll have to check the date on that video. I would say it's been at least four, minimally four months, maybe five or six. And it's doing very well. It does get the fluoride tips from the water, but that doesn't bother me too much. This was here when I got it. It had a few imperfections. Um, so if I feel like they get a little too annoying, I just come and clip them off. But as for having a little bit, I don't mind. And then this is the other bushel at the bottom. You can see some more of those tips. I did change it out to a terracotta pot eventually i want all my plants to be in terracotta or um my ray dunn ceramic pots because that's just my preference i don't care for the plastic pots but yeah this one's been hanging in here i've learned to just leave it alone and it really thrives as you can see right there it looks really good um in the beginning i believe i was over watering it so that's that i kind of want to show you this little nub you can see right here I was wondering and hoping like if it would open. It looked like for a while it would open and sprout another branch. It has not as of yet, so you know, we'll see. But I really do like this plant. Her name is Marley because I feel like her hair looks like my dread. So that's her name. Moving over here. This nice sculpture, by the way, I got at Goodwill. I love going to Goodwill just to find different elements that I can work into my home decor. And I just thought that would look really cool with the plants and there it is so this next plant is my um bird's nest fern and this is also one that i got in that lowe's haul i'm getting some browning on the tips here so i'm guessing that is a water issue as well i kind of have started to leave this one alone because when i was showing it too much attention it was like it wasn't very happy, so I've been leaving it alone. It's back nice and full. And so, you know, I just leave it. But now seeing these brown, I am going to um, see if it needs a little water. As you can see, unfortunately, it is in the plastic pot, which I said I'm not a fan of. But I think what I want to do to this is mount it like they do the staghorn ferns. I want to mount it um, to hang on the wall. I think that will look cool. And this plant here is named... Ursula. So you'll see as I go through, some of my plants have names. Some of them don't. Most of my plants are girls. Um, I don't know. That's just how it happened. So come down here. This is, as you can see, some lovely golden pothos. It's doing really well. This actually started off as a very large plant and I broke it down into several other plants. You'll see as I go through here. So this is like the main bunch that's left over and I'm going to leave it here. Um, I wanted to let it fill out some more and eventually I want to hang this. There's a wall in my bathroom um, where it looks like the previous person who lived here, like, I don't know what she had hanging there, but it's like holes. They're patched up, but I just don't like the look that you can see the patching. So anyway, I want to hang a plant there. So once this fills out and starts to trail, I want to hang that there. So moving across right here, we have a Moonlight Philodendron. Now this plant I actually received in a Instagram giveaway. I'll link that video for you guys as well because I did do a video on that. I was so excited and surprised to win. And yeah, it's really pretty. It's a little baby. Um, it took a little bit of a beating in the mail because it got trapped with the post office over the holiday weekend. But nonetheless, I think it's bouncing back very well. Come up here. This is my lucky bamboo. My son calls it the family plant because when we were at the store, this was also bought in that Lowe's, um, that free Lowe's haul with the coupon. And so I picked up four, one for each of us, one for myself, my husband, and my two kids. And yeah, so I had the gold string I tied it together with, not knowing the full lore. Hold on, guys. Let me check on my girl. Okay, I'm back. So, not knowing the full lore of having four, I think you're supposed to do five or more, but um, it is what it is. It's there. It has grown so much. If you go ahead and watch that video, you'll see. But all this extra height, all of this right here, 
It's all new, it's doing very well. They were in water. I put them in soil. Again, you see cinnamon for the gnats. Um, and it's just been doing very well. I did have some yellowing issues. You can still see a little, but overall it's been fine. I like to water my plants with rain water when, um, when possible. And sorry, I just had to pick up my daughter. And um, yep, that seems to do well. Continuing across here, we have my Alocasia poly. And I joke to everybody who sees this one, and I call it my FOMO plant because um, I never really liked how these plants looked. And I was like, oh, I don't want one of those. And I just kept seeing it everywhere in every hall. And, and I was just like, okay, I think I need to have one of those. And I was at a local nursery. Um, it's a local co-op co nursery called Urban Roots. I did a plant shop with me there that you can check out. But they had this for $10, and so I picked it up. It's been doing well. has some large leaves. It has, like, this little hiccup right there, but nothing major. And it did have two smaller. Uh, I'm trying to show you that baby leaf. It had two smaller ones that have since yellowed and fallen off. But, you know, hey, I think it's good. So that's that. And then... FOMO, I'm sure everybody knows what it means, but it's fear of missing out. So <laughs> there you go. Um, this one here is also another favorite. So when I highlight her pot, it is a Ray Dunn home pot, which I really like. And just an aside on these pots, if you like Ray Dunn like me, it has the attached plate at the bottom. There is an opening for drainage, but I tested it by filling it with water and it doesn't drain out as well as I would like it. So this pot i mean excuse me this plant is still in the nursery pot and i'm using this as sort of a cash pot for now because i just don't like how they drain so they're very nice but i don't like the drainage on them i was thinking of buying a drill bit and putting a hole in the bottom so we'll see so if you come in closer you can see that this is actually on a pole it's not moss pole it's, it starts with a c the, um that other stuff things like coconut husks or something and so this one is growing up on that I did take a couple vines off here and propagate them, and they're in another room. Um, again, I'll show you my other rooms in a different video, but they're doing very well. This one has nice big leaves um, with that nice yellow color. I think almost every leaf has some level of yellow color into it, which I love because I've seen some golden pothos and they're more green. So we can see some fresh babies up top. Back up so you can see the whole thing. And this baby is doing very well. This stand that it is on, my husband found for me at a garage sale. So I really like that. I like bringing in wood elements with the plants. I think it just looks really cute. So there is my second golden pothos. And now if we come over here, I have to zoom back because this is my pride and joy. This is my philodendron hope. I won't try to say the scientific name, although I think it's Celium or Bipenidifidum, I don't know, one of those. But um, yeah, it's just beautiful. You can see the huge leaves. These are the older leaves, so they're nice and thick and leathery. And then I have the little baby. Well, they're not babies because they're so huge, but newer leaves over here. And they're a lot thinner. You can just see this nice nest in here, like literally every day or two i have more leaves popping out i really love this plant um my husband actually here's another little baby one now this one came in with less of um the i know they're not cuts but the like finger like look these came in this one came in with less so i don't know here's another new one the last couple ones haven't come in um as defined as this one so you know we'll see why that is but it has a nice aerial root in there which i know some people cut those off but i think they look cool so i just leave it be it used to stick out and i just um turned it around so it'll be inside the pot so my kids wouldn't touch it good luckily they don't really bother my plants at all they don't pay much attention to them unless i'm watering they'll ask to help but anyway i put it over the side of the pot and now it's grown down into the dirt so yeah i just leave that as so you can see here this yellow table that it is on focus focus is another good will find that i'm really happy with i think it really pops so i'm gonna come down here this 
right here is another one I'm super excited about. I fell in love with the Pileas as soon as I saw them. So I was very happy to find it at that same nursery where I got my um, Alocasia Poly from. Hold on. I don't know why I'm not focusing. Is that focused now? Okay. I'm filming with my phone. I'm having some editing issues with my computer. Let me stop and come back because this is not editing. Okay. I'm not sure what happened. So there we go. This is, as you can see, a Pilea pep pepper Pepperomides. I'm sure I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, I was excited to get this because I just think it looks really cool. This one is a boy. His name is O from, if you're familiar with um, Home, they made a show out of that movie on Netflix. And I really like it. And this just reminds me of that because um i don't know i think it looks like an alien so this is still in the nursery pot i don't know if you can tell and this blue pot here is using it as a cash pot because it doesn't have drainage there's lots of new babies up there but yeah i'm very happy with this i had a little struggles with it at first because positioning i think i had it too far from the window and then it was right up on the window it was doing fine but like i said i had to move that stuff so this is still pretty close to the window closer than it was and it seems to be doing well so I'm just gonna leave it and it is paired next here next to my philodendron hope which I hope wasn't too blurry when I just showed you it but I'll zoom in on some of the leaves again so you can see this one puts off babies like crazy again my husband bought me this as a surprise actually on Father's Day excuse me on Father's Day this is the biggest leaf it has right here that's up against the wall it's really huge um i turn this around every few days just to give them all a chance to pull towards the window but yeah it's doing well um but i was surprised to get it for sure because it was father's day so of course i wasn't expecting anything and my husband saw it in the supermarket actually i think it was like ten dollars um it was much smaller than this i think i'll, I'll insert a picture of what it looked like when i first got it but it's grown so crazy. Even my husband is like, I didn't know that thing would get that big. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. So super cool. This is definitely my largest plant for sure. So it's coming down here to the bottom of this same little yellow table. This is one of the vines. As you can see, it started to wrap around the leg, which I love. And you can see the nice big leaves. It's doing very well. We have some little babies right here. This is a vine that I did take off of the uh, previous golden pothos that I showed you that I want to eventually hang in my bathroom. And I don't know, I just wanted to play with like individual, individual vines around the house. So that's what I did. And this pot here is um, Ethan and Roth, I think it's called. It is from um, Lowe's from that haul that I got with that coupon. This again is from there. Um, the golden pothos itself is also from Lowe's as well, but it was purchased at a separate time. Um, I like the look of the pot. It is, you know, the um, the ceramic with its glazed, um, which I don't mind. I still prefer that better than the plastic. My top favorite is the raw terracotta. But anyway, I want to point out, I've come to see, I don't like when the tray is attached at the bottom. Because if you look in there, it's like, it's a little hole for the water to come out. But it doesn't come out as much as I like. Because I like to let my plants go to the drier side and then water them until the water runs out the bottom. And I feel like when the pan on the bottom is attached, as much water doesn't come out as needs to right away. So I at first had my um, bird's nest fern in this pot and I took it out because um, it was staying, it was staying too wet. So anyway, that's a lesson to me. I didn't buy any more pots that have uh, the tray attached at the bottom. So, so let me get up here because I sat down on the floor with my daughter. So we're gonna get up here, my little office space, and we're gonna come around to this first, which I love this stand. This is super cute. Give you a little once over. My husband found this for me at a garage sale as well. It's really cute. It has a hanging basket in there and um, a tray at the bottom. So this, as you can tell, is my um 
This is my heart leaf philodendron. And I got this from a local nursery as well. It has grown so much. You can see all the vines. I actually took off a couple of vines to <clears throat> make separate plants, which I'll show you. You see some little babies popping up in there. So it's just doing very well. I just leave this plant alone. Honestly, I check it every once in a while when I think it should be dry by now. And if it is, I give it water. Otherwise, it loves being here and it just grows. You can see the trails were down to the floor and that's where um, I cut to make another plant. So really happy with that. Up above this, this has a little story. This is my Bonnie spider plant. Now, the story behind this is that I wanted it. <laughs> I thought it was really cool, but I wasn't able to find it locally. So flash forward, I went on Etsy, horrible transaction, horrible customer service. I didn't get what I thought I was getting. I still have that um, baby in another room and I'll show you to, it to you. So I happened to be in Lowe's one day. It was after that. I had been on the lookout for it. Somebody had found one for me out of town, which was really nice of her, but I didn't want to pay all the money to ship it. So I was like, no, I'll just keep an eye out. Flash forward, I was at Lowe's and they had two Bonnies. Now you can see she looks totally better than what she was. Um, I had a video repotting and separating her, but I had an issue with, with my um, camera. I used my phone, my phone was messed up. So that footage I can't use. But anyway, I separated it down um, and I put it in here and I had it hung in the window and I thought it was doing fairly well. As you can see, it has some nice green to it. Oh, also, I got this for $7 because it was damaged. So I got them to mark it down from 16 to seven. So it already had some issues, but I thought, you know, it would be fine. I had it in the window. As you can see, it has a baby coming. I had it in the window, it was doing okay. And then I noticed the side that was against the window, which I usually turned it around, but I didn't for a few days. It was getting um, faded, like bleached, it was almost, looking more white than green. So I got a command hook strip. This is a seven and a half pound max weight one. And I hung it over here on this wall that is directly across from the window. It's not directly, it's more than 10 feet. Um, but my other plants over here seem to like it. And so I hung it here and it seems to be bouncing back. Still has some nice curl to it. Let me show you. I'm sorry if the camera keeps going up and down. I'm holding my daughter. And I keep putting her down. Let me flip it over so you can see the other side. So the green is definitely bouncing back. Um, so I'm happy about that. So you can see here in the inside. Again, a little brown tip from the water. There is hard water in my area. When I can't get rainwater, I do. And I water with that. Other than that, I just use tap. But, you know, hopefully you see that nice curl there. Hopefully it'll be good. I've heard people say their bonnies have lost their curl over time. Um, I didn't even know that happened. So I hope this one doesn't do that because the whole point is I like the curl. So moving on right here. Oh, this is my first time looking at my roots today. Um, these are my little propagation stations, I guess you could call them. I purchased these at Dollar General. Um, I think they're technically, they call them like bud vases. First of all, I thought the glass was perfect to propagate and I love these little wooden things It came in. So this one is a Hoya. I think it's the Crimson, Crimson Queen, Crimson Princess. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I got that off Mercari. Someone was selling cuttings and I had it right in soil for a long time. It wasn't doing anything. This has literally been in the water, not even two weeks. And look at all of those roots. So I'm very excited about that. And when I just now saw how long they were, I was definitely surprised because the last time I looked, which was a, uh, about a week ago, it just had like those little ones. So that's cool. I'll link my Instagram. I post stuff like this on Instagram just to show like progress and things like that. So I'll link that so you can check me out there. These are some golden pothos leaves. These are actually the greenest of all of them. Um, so hopefully they develop some yellow, but I have those in there rooting up. Come across here. I have this wandering Jew. Um, I have like a hate, hate relationship with this plant. I don't really like how it looks. Number one, that might sound bad, but I mean, I like to enjoy the look of my plants. My son picked it because my favorite color is purple. 
which he knows, my four-year-old, so he thought I would like it. So that's why I got it. Um, this kind of been giving me grief. This is a cutting off of it. The main plant I actually threw away because I saw a spider on it and I got nervous. <laughs> and um, I didn't really like the plant much anyway, so honestly, that gave me a reason. But I don't, it wasn't a spider mite because I looked up to see what those look like. I think this was just a spider from outside. I do get spiders in my house sometimes. They climb under the screens. And so, you know, just a little jumping spider um, that ended up on the plant. But, so yeah, I just tossed, <laughs> tossed it out. But I have, still have this little piece, so we'll see. This, from my understanding, is normally an outdoor plant, but it's, people have started to put it indoors. The ones that I have seen doing really well are honestly only the ones that are outside. With mine being inside, it's just, it's hanging in there, but it's really not flourishing. When I had it closer to the window, I think it did better, but it still hasn't done as great as other ones that I've seen that people have that were outside. So that is the story behind that. And then over here, as I was telling you, I took some trails off of my green heart philodendron. And so I like to see the roots. Um, let me come sit over here. I like to see the roots grow out into the water. This one doesn't have any because I just recently put it in there like a day or two ago. But yes, that's why I have that in the water. So I wanted to um, split the mama plant up over there. This uh, plant is still in this nursery pot too. I haven't gotten around to getting another terracotta pot for it, but I think coming up here soon, I will do that. Moving around here, let's start at the bottom. Excuse me, mama. This here is my over ears. It is another of my Raygun pots. This has grown a lot since I first had it, but it definitely, would prefer i think it preferred it when it was right up against the window i can't really have it there right now so i put it over here it does fine but it definitely was growing more right in front of the window and again i have the cinnamon you trying to help let me know what you guys do for the gnats i know they have a spray i was just trying to do home remedy stuff so i was using the cinnamon but let me know what you all do and then this is a mister this is ray done as well this here is a Tillandsia Caputo Medusa. I don't I, no, the other one is a Medusa. This is the red something. But anyway, it is an air plant. I did win this in the giveaway. Go check that video. Oh, I'm gonna keep saying that, but it was a cool video. I was excited to win it. So I won this there, and they I also won um this little terrarium. It hangs but this is glass, so I just felt more comfortable with it sitting on my shelf than having it hang with my kids running back and forth sometimes. So that's really cool. Um, I was excited to get those. My son really likes the air plants. This one here is, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a Peperomia obtusifolia. And it has some variegation on it, as you can see. I love that it's in a terracotta pot. Um, this plant I've honestly had for well over a year, well over a year. This is, this one and another one I'm going to show you is actually the first two plants I had. Um, my, my husband bought them for me and for some reason, like you can see there, it's alive, but this is the biggest that it's ever been since I had it. When he first got them for me, they were like little guys. They had like two or three leaves right now. It has one, two, three, four, it has five leaves. So I see some other people's peperomias and they're just so big and I don't know, I don't get it, but it's alive. So, you know, I guess that's that. This is one of the only ones I have that have like any real variegation to it. So I really like how it looks, but I just don't understand why it hasn't grown much. Coming straight across here, I'm gonna back out. This is my favorite plant because of the pot. I actually made this pot. I have a video for DIY planter projects. I'll link that for you if you're interested in this, but I basically um, Made this piece by piece. These are all different wooden bees. There's a Crowley shell. So Yes, neat stuff. Go ahead and check that out. But this is my yucca plant As you can see it has a nice little Baby there in the middle that's taking its sweet time to open up, but this is very Doing very well nice and green it's very healthy um, I just cleaned these leaves off not too long ago, which I have to remind myself the edges are serrated. 
because you can't give yourself a nasty little cut on that. But yeah, that's my yucca plant. I got this, I think, from Wegmans in the supermarket where I live. And I've had this for a while. Definitely, I'd say, actually, I got this around Mother's Day. So right now it is almost August. So I've had it since then. And it's grown a lot. It's like doubled in size. I'm starting to wonder if it needs to be repotted. My pot is being used as a cash pot and it's still in the nursery pot inside of there. But since this baby has been here, it's still green. So, you know, it's still alive, but it hasn't opened. I'm wondering, I wanna check the roots to see if it needs repotting. Moving up here, this is one of the vines that I took off of my um, green heart philodendron. It is in another of my Ray Dunn pots. This one, as you can see, this pot, just a quick note, I have a little plastic thing underneath it. This pot came on a tray, which I'll show you when I go to the other side. I, they weren't draining well, so I ended up just popping them off the tray. And they have the hole in the bottom, but the way it was attached was crazy. So anyway, they're much better this way. They drain well. And yes, yeah, so I put this in here. What used to be in this pot was an orchid. Um, I love orchids, but I can never really keep them alive. It hung in there for a long time. I had it for about two years almost, but it just it couldn't hang on. So I got rid of that and put this in here. And I just love the look of a single trail. I think it's really pretty. Um, I moved the position over here. I had another vine, single vine over here of golden pothos that I ended up moving, which I will show you. But yes, I just really like that. And over here you have my um, watering pot. And this is Ray Dunn again, and it says nourish. I did initially use this to water my plants, but to be honest, it's not that great for it. Um, Especially my smaller pots, it's heavy, and so I'd rather just display it. These little twine balls I got for a quarter from Dollar General, and I think it looks really cute there. So I just leave it for display. Eventually, I want to put a plant in here, something that trails down that I can easily take in and out to get watered or whatever. But for right now, um, yeah, just sits there. Here's my other peperomia. Um that I got at the same time. My husband purchased this for me at the same time as the other one. Now this one has literally like tripled in size, but then again, it got this spurt because it was like this tall. It got this spurt up to here. It branched all these new leaves and then it, since then it has just stopped. It hasn't done anything else. So I don't know. Again, like I said, it's definitely alive, but after this little spurt, it has not done much. This is definitely the biggest it's ever been since I had it. And again, I've had these for well over a year, probably closer to two. So that's that with that. It's in the terracotta. And yep, next door we have my money tree. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit of brown spotting. Initially, I thought this was from being too close to the window. So then I moved it. And um, I don't know, they pop up periodically. So I just try to keep up with the water. As you can see, there's some little babies up here. So it's definitely, there was another new one. It's definitely alive and well, popping out. Um, new babies is just these brown spots pop up now and again. And I love the look of the money tree, so I don't want to take off any leaves and not have a fiber. So I just leave it, it's fine. I have a shell in here. We actually got this shell. My son picked it up off the beach when we went to Myrtle Beach last year. So I put that in there and this was tied together. I actually also got this in that coupon a free plant thing that I did at Lowe's and it was tied up here, but I let it go untied it because I read that over time they can spread back out if you want them to. And I kind of want it to look like that. And as you can see, I'm getting some mineralization on the pot, which I really like the look of. In the beginning, I used to um, wipe it off, but the more it started to come, I'm like, okay, I like this. I like how it looks. So I leave it now. But um, yeah, this one with the water, I'm still trying to get the hang of. I know the instructions said once a week, but being in the terracotta, I don't know if that affects it, but sometimes it really does just get bone dry. So I'll go ahead and water it based on that. And just to step back, this shelf here is a ladder bamboo shelf. If you guys are wondering, I picked that up off of Amazon. All right, this is the last shelf of plants in my front room. So let's go ahead and go through here. As you can see, I have some little propagations right here. This is a pink illusion arrowhead. 
Let me take it out and see what it's doing. It is sprouting a little something. Is this so focused? There you go. You can see it has like a little something going off. I don't know if that necessarily will really work, but I just wanted to try it. And it looks like it has like a new leaf right there. So I just leave it in there just to see because it fell off. This is a piece off of my string of hearts. And gently show you. See that? It is starting to root, so I'm very excited about that. This is just washi tape that I covered these up with to make it dark for the roots. This here is the is a piece off my string of hearts. I don't know. People say they propagate succulents all the time. I have not had any luck. This one, the part that's down in the water, the stem, it keeps like rotting basically. So I put it just above the water. Somebody told me to do that. And so it's sitting up there. We'll see what happens. But I'm not very confident in that because it's been there a while. Now this right here is a ponytail palm. You can see the little bulb. I had a larger one, which you'll see at the bottom of the shelf. I separated and this one, little one was in the middle. So I just thought it would be cool to put it by itself and see what it does. This is actually a lid from one of my kids' old cups where you put like the reusable straw. So it has a drain hole at the bottom and I just put it in there and it's been doing good. So we will see. This is my frog. He hangs out and looks up at the plants. This is another air plant that I won in that giveaway. This is the Medusa, I believe. So I just have that on like some rocks, um, just hanging out there. And then I have my Good Vibes Only. This is a Ray Dunn sign. I DIY'd this. I added wooden beads, crystals, natural stones, lots of good stuff. And I really love it. I think it's really pretty. Coming across here. Now this guy is a Peperomia waffle. I think it's a um, burgundy one. The person who sold it to me, the uh, people who sold it to me said it was a black peperomia, but as you can see, it's not black at all. It's more of a purple burgundy color, which I don't mind because purple is my favorite color, but I did want the black one and don't feel like this is it. In certain lighting, it looks black, but then other lighting, it looks red, so I don't know. And it's in the clay pot, getting some nice mineralization from our hard water. Now this back here is an old baby bottle. But when I was fixing up my, um, braiding up my fiddle leaf, this one came off. And it still has some nice um, healthy leaves on it. So I figured let me plop it in water and see what it'll do. So it's just been sitting there for right now. Um, but yeah, I figured the water bottles, I know, I guess the preference is to put them in glass. Like the this one here is glass. But I was just looking like, what do I have that I could propagate in? And I have a bunch of old bottles. So I figured, why not? So let's come around here and excuse my little messy kitchen table there. This is the vine also off that golden pothos across the room that I showed you. If you look in here, it's inside actually of another um, terracotta pot. It's gray. But I put it here. This is another Ray Dunn planter when I was over there at the window with the string of bananas that used to be in here um you can see it hangs but this is very heavy so I didn't feel comfortable hanging it so it sits up here the string of bananas was in here I felt like it wasn't doing as great when it was over by the window so I put it repotted it and put it back over by the window like I said I think I might have shocked it or something because it hasn't snapped back so we'll see so anyway this is a single vine it started off like up here it was really short and it's just grown out and I think it just looks really cute like that. So that's there for that. And right here is my traditional spider plant. It's variegated green on the outsides. This plant, as you can see, has some new stalks coming out. Has given me a little struggles. Again, this is a Ray Dunn pot with a connected base that doesn't drain like I like. So it's being used as a cash pot here as well. There's another pot inside that drains that I pull out when I go to water it. Right now, it looks very healthy, nice and green. Um, my mom says it's so healthy. It looks like a silk plant, but it did give me some struggles. I got this actually as a gift from one of my husband's co-workers. Um, I'll try to insert a picture. It was really big, full. It had vines that came down to here with the babies on the end. And um, actually, there are some of his babies down there. You can see that below my green leaf philodendron but 
I don't know if it was putting more focus on the babies, but it started to look really bad. And I was doing some research online and it said to remove the stalks, cut the stalks back so that it fo the plant focuses on itself and not pushing out babies. So I did that. It's been about two weeks minimum, three weeks max. And it really has bounced back just to how bright and healthy it was looking when I first got it. I moved it around a lot in here. So maybe when it came to acclimating, because it was over in that stand first, and then it was over there where the yellow table is. So I have moved it around, and um, I don't know if that made an effect, but it's finally balanced back out. It's doing really well. It has pushed out these new little um, stalks. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Again, it has a little bit of the brownie at the tips, but like I said, yeah, you can see right here, a little brownie at the tips. But like I said, we have hard water here, so it happens. Um, this here is a croton, and as you can see, it's kind of sparse. Little quick story behind that. My husband bought me one. It was nice and big and beautiful. I put it in a pot that wasn't draining, and it got overwatered. I removed it from that pot, and it was just downhill since then. It ended up not making it, so I wanted to replace it, and I got this one in um the plant rescue from walmart where i actually got my fiddle leaf so i got it for like two dollars it did well for such a long time um and i think again because i moved it that it wasn't very happy and then it got a little too dry before i realized and so it was drooping i watered it it perked right back up but it did drop a couple leaves after that so these one two three four leaves left on here have been hanging in there so you know, we'll see. This is, again, in a plastic pot, which is not my favorite. But, yeah, that's where it is for now. So, we'll see what happens with that. I don't think I would buy any more crotons. They're too finicky for me. This here is an Arrowhead Pink Illusion. Most of the leaves that had the pink on them, there was a little one back there. Honestly, have, like, fallen off. So, that's a uh, leaf from another Arrowhead that's right next to it. But... As you can see, this one was coming in pink. I feel like all the ones that come in with the pink end up yellowing, and I don't understand why. So I'm going to have to pluck that off. But it is in a terracotta pot. Um, this position is where it's been doing the best since I've had it. So I'm just going to leave it there and let it do its thing. It's starting to fan out and spread out and vine. Um, I asked someone, and they didn't know, do all arrowhead plants vine? Because this right here, um, this was a, a large plant um, my husband got me as well. And I overwatered it. It had root rot. I tried to separate it and save it. This is the last piece left. And it was a big pot. It used to be in here. So it was a big plant. So these are the three pieces I have left. This one is starting to curve. So I'm guessing it's going to vine. Um, I don't know. But do all arrowhead plants, all syngoniums, do they vine? Let me know in the comments. So coming around here, this is another plant that I actually won from that Instagram giveaway. It's a philodendron prince of orange, which is not looking very orange right now. Um, I don't know, can these revert back to all green? Um, like I said, if you watch that video, you'll see what happened with the male. So, and this one had a caterpillar in it. Um, I know I looked it up and it says that doesn't harm the plant at all, but we'll see what happens. It's pretty much hanging in there. It's definitely grown since I've gotten it. But it was like leaning like this when I got it. So I guess it's a plant that like branches out, fans out. Um, but it's hanging in there. So yeah, there's that. Still in the nursery pot for now. So now this white tray, this is the tray I was telling you about um, that had this Ray Dunn pot on it. And also the pot that has my string of pearls in there. It had three pots on it attached. I've since... Um, taking them off I don't know actually what the third one has in it because it was three so one has my string of pearls that's the other one and I don't know I, now I'm gonna have to look into that because I don't know oh maybe it's in um in my other one of my other rooms it has to have something in it in there because it said you grow girl three across which I thought was so cute but again, I didn't like how they were attached, so I just took it off. Anyway, so going across this tray here, this is a Manjula Pothos. And I bought these 
let you see as cuttings it's a little bit of rooting i had them in soil my husband accidentally knocked it over so i was like let me just put it in water because i seem to be having better luck in water and you can see this one is a little funny looking but the other two seem to be doing well i'm kind of mad with myself because when i first got them i put them in water it was a big bunch and i was all excited to try different propagation methods so i cut it up to put some in soil, some in water, and I should have just left it in the water. It probably would have been nicely rooted by now because um, it was doing good in the water. That's another baby bottle, by the way. These two guys here I got from the same seller on Mercari. These are cuttings from her plant. This is a Hoya Wayeti, she said. This is doing very well. As you can see that the stalk is new. Um, it's just growing very well. These are like paper mache pots. They're actually for seedlings. For like veggies and stuff you can put the whole pot right into the dirt um i didn't have any small pots when i got these cuttings so i had those lying around so i figured why not use them and they've been doing fine so eventually i'll get some terracotta for these what do you guys think about putting hoyas in terracotta i've heard mixed things about that okay we're almost to the end guys so this one like i said i got from the same seller this is a hoya a crimson princess i think the other one i showed you um excuse me, over here in the little propagation bottle came with that too. This one, I had to fix the pot, so I kind of lifted it out. And this one does have roots in the dirt, so it's doing um, really well. They were looking a little, like these were um, completely folded up like this when I received them in the mail, but they're doing a lot better. You can see, oh, excuse me, let's pick my daughter up again. You can see they've opened up and they're looking really healthy, so... Yes, I'm happy with that. Lastly, at the bottom here is my ponytail palm trio. This is the mama plant in the center. Go ahead and take a look at that pot. I actually made this as well. Mm -hmm. but I have a video on my channel for that too. This is jute twine and crowley shells. So this little trio started off as one with that other tiny palm I showed you at the top. My husband actually found this for me too at a local supermarket and a little bit of a story with that is i had found one online i wanted it was 30 dollars. the lady was kind of rude it was on like a resale site so i was like whatever but i wanted the plant so i tried to go back again she was even more rude so i just let it go and then when i went to a local nursery i saw found one there but it was 90 dollars, which i did not want to pay and then i just assumed like oh this is an expensive plant you know i probably just won't have one then flash forward my husband sent me a picture of some plants at a local grocery store and they had this guy, again, all four of the bulbs were together for $7.99. So I've had this for, I want to say it's been a month. And I just recently separated it. So this is the main one I left in here. I'm using my pot again as a cash pot. So this is still a nursery pot in there. Um, I'm going to have to, mm, I don't know, move that soon, I guess. But anyway, um, I took this one off here and also that one. And... I don't know, I always have in mind when I separate plants to do trays or maybe sell them or something, I don't know, but we'll see. I always end up liking how they look, so I end up keeping them. But I just love how this little trio looks. It's like a, a mama and two babies. <laughs> so I like to think it's me and um, me in the middle with my kids on the side, so I like that. And yeah, it's been thriving, it's been doing well. I pretty much just let it get dry. This one had caterpillar, it actually had two caterpillars in it, which I didn't know centipedes i don't know what i'm saying caterpillars it was centipede and when i took it out of here to separate it because it's been in here for like the month plus that i've had it they were at the bottom but they were dead because like we they looked like they were trying to get out but they couldn't so it's like no air in there between those two pots again i looked it up because i didn't know if that was harmful to the plant and it said no on google that they're just attracted to the moisture so that is that for you i'll give you a little pan of this shelf my husband also found this shelf for me at a yard sale. So, yep, that is my front room house plant tour. And I will, in a few days here, give you a tour of my kitchen. There's a little space in there that has plants. And then my bathroom has a couple in there as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.